Hey guys, welcome to our weekly news show here at Backstage with Millionaires. I'm Caleb, your host, and it's been an amazing week in India's startup ecosystem, one for the books for sure, because India has crossed 100 startup unicorns. This journey, of course, began back in 2011 when Imobi became India's first startup unicorn, and now the 100th startup unicorn is Neo Banking Startup Open. They raised $50 million and are now valued at $1 billion. Now, I should note here before we start to celebrate and go into too much detail that this doesn't mean that there's currently a hundred startup unicorns in India it just means that over the last decade or so basically since 2011 that India has produced a hundred startup unicorns and I tweeted a little bit about this so I won't go into too much detail here you can pause the video and read this tweet if you want to but now let's talk a little bit about how this actually happened so between 2011 and 2019 things were relatively slow going it was slow and steady growth India had 28 startup unicorns by 2019 but then when the COVID-19 pandemic hit India everything started to change suddenly people across India were forced to rely more and more on the internet and on their mobile devices. And there were a lot of people who had never experienced either one of those things, but eventually had to adopt them during the pandemic because of pan-India lockdowns and a lot of things moving online. For example, people started ordering items online. They went shopping on e-commerce websites and on D2C websites. They also started ordering food from online grocery delivery startups and food delivery startups like Zomato and Swiggy. They started buying insurance online. They started visiting the doctor online. Everything was moving online. Now, things were a little bit slow going at first. 2020 only saw 11 Indian startups become unicorns. And I think this was mainly because a lot of these startups were just finding their footing amidst the pandemic. It was a brand new thing in 2020. But then as things started to stabilize in 2021, these startups finally figured out how to capitalize on the changes that were happening because of the pandemic, the changes that were happening in society. And so India saw 44 startup unicorns in 2021. And now in 2022, in May, we've already seen 15 startup unicorns, which is the same number of startup unicorns that we had seen in 2021 by this point in the year. So since 2020, India has seen 72 startups become unicorns, and there's many more on the horizon. Now, we're going to be making a dedicated video on this story, India's journey to achieving 100 unicorns, and we'll be posting that probably next week. That's what we're aiming for. So I'll save most of the fun facts for that video. But just one more before we move on to the next news item, the cumulative valuation of all 100 of these unicorn startups is $333 billion. All right, next up in the news, Swiggy has officially started drone trials for their online grocery delivery business line, Instamart. And they're doing this in Bengaluru and the NCR region. Now, this is something that people have been talking about for a while now, and it probably seems like something that's never going to happen because even though these trials keep happening and people keep talking about it, we look up at the skies and we don't see or hear any drones, but things are progressing. It's just happening slowly. So Swiggy, along with six other companies, had submitted their plans to the government of India for drone deliveries back in October of 2019. Then, after receiving a nod from the government of India in May of 2021, Swiggy, in partnership with Unra Technologies, jointly conducted over 300 drone-led deliveries of food and medicine across the country. And this was basically just a trial of the technology to see if it worked. Then, a couple of weeks ago, Swiggy put forward a request for a proposal for this idea of trialing drone deliveries for Instamart, and 345 drone companies applied. Out of these applicants, four were selected by Swiggy, Garuda Aerospace, Sky Air Mobility, Unra and Tech Eagle Consortia, and Maroon Drone Tech. Now, I know that you're probably imagining drones being used to deliver groceries directly to customers. That's not how Swiggy is actually planning on proceeding, though. They're going to be using drones to replenish stock between seller-run dark stores and from a store to a common customer point. And then a delivery partner will pick up orders from the common point and deliver them to customers' doorsteps. So it doesn't look like you're going to be able to collect your groceries directly from a drone out of your window or on your terrace or your rooftop here in India anytime soon. But who knows, maybe in the next couple of years, that'll become the reality. Anyways, next up in the news, EdTech unicorn Vedantu has laid off 200 employees. Now, Vedantu has said that they laid off employees based on performance. So the lowest performers were the ones that were laid off. But employees have said that they're doing this to cut costs. And there's no other reason. One employee told INC42 that one day I got a link to Google Meet and was immediately 
immediately asked to join the meeting by my manager. On joining the meeting, I was immediately told my services were no longer required from the next day. After the call, a few of us who were fired did a bit of digging and found out that the educators who were at a higher salary bracket were asked to go. This only proved that Vedantu laid off to cut costs. Now, as many of you know, Vedantu is not alone here. An Academy, Lido Learning, Misho, Trell, and Ferlenko have all laid off employees this year. And in total, Indian startups have laid off over 1,900 employees in 2022. All right, next up in the news, it looks like D2C Unicorn Mama Earth is going to be going public between June and July of 2023. So things have been going really well for Mama Earth since the pandemic started. They saw 108.9 crore rupees in revenue in the financial year of 2020. That went up 4.2x to 461 crore rupees in the financial year of 2021. And then in the financial year of 2022, that number jumped up to 1,000 crore rupees in revenue. Also, this year in 2022, Mama Earth became profitable. And for this financial year, the financial year of 2023, Mama Earth is setting a revenue target of between 1,800 and 2,000 crore rupees. The startup currently has a presence across more than 500 Indian cities, and they've also set up operations in Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka, and they're also about to launch in the Middle East too. All right, next up in the news, Delivery's IPO is just around the corner. It's gonna be opening on the 11th, that's Wednesday, and it's gonna be closing on the 13th, that's Friday, and then it's going to be listed on the 24th of May. Now, we actually just posted a case study video about the journey that Delivery has taken to get to this point today and how they've been able to outperform the incumbents in the logistics space in India as a small startup that has now grown to become a massive unicorn startup. And you can check that video by clicking on this little icon up here. We'll be putting an arrow to that. But now let's dive into the numbers and talk a little bit about this IPO. So the total issue size was going to be 7,460 crore rupees. They've since cut that down to 5,235 crore rupees. And according to investors, the reason behind this is current market sentiments. And of this total issue, 4,000 crore rupees is going to be coming in the form of primary shares and 1,235 crore rupees in the form of secondary shares or offer for sale. Now, delivery has a lot going for it. It's the largest and fastest growing logistics player in India by revenue. And as of the financial year of 2021, they were covering 17,488 PIN codes in India. But this growth does come at a cost because delivery is a loss-making company. Between the financial year of 2020 and the financial year of 2021, their loss has increased from 269 crore rupees to 415.7 crore rupees. That being said though, their revenues also increased during this time period from 2,780 crore rupees to 3,646.5 crore rupees. All right, moving on to some funding news now. 10-minute online grocery delivery store startup Zepto has raised $200 million in their Series D round, which was led by the Y Combinator Community Fund at a $900 million valuation, making them a sunicorn. The startup was last valued at $570 million in their Series C round, which they raised back in December of 2021. And according to one of the co-founders and the CEO, Adit Balicha, the company is going to be using these funds to expand into between 12 and 20 cities and also to hire a thousand people over the next year. Adit told TechCrunch that the startup's annualized revenue is between $200 and $400 million right now, but they're determined to grow that to at least a billion dollars by the end of the financial year of 2023. All right, next up in the funding news, online pharmacy startup PharmEasy is in talks to raise $250 million in debt funding from private equity investors to fund their operations until they go public. So the startup has pushed the date of their IPO into the future. They're waiting for markets to become more agreeable. And so this funding round is to pay off some loans that they have, as well as to meet their working capital requirements. PharmEasy had filed their DRHP back in November of 2021. And at that time, they were planning to raise $6,250 50 crore rupees through their IPO. All right, next up in the funding news, we're going to move into our bird's eye segment now because 13 Indian startups raised more than a million dollars this week, and the total amount of funds raised across the entire ecosystem was $642.7 million. Now, leading the pack this week was the health space. Almost half of the funds raised this week were raised by health startups. 48% to be specific, that's $308 million. And PharmEasy was the number one startup in this category. They raised $250 million, but you also have Toothsy, and they raised 
$40 million. Next, of course, we have online grocery delivery with 31.1%. That's $200 million being raised exclusively by Zepto. And then after that, we have FinTech with 10.1%. That's $65 million. And $50 million of this was raised by neobanking startup Open. We mentioned them at the beginning of the video because they are the 100th Indian startup unicorn of all time. And then we also have Kaleidofin raising $15 million as well in the FinTech space. And then finally, we have AI with 4.67%. This was Element 5, a startup that raised $30 million, making up the entire 4.67%. Now, again, that was just a bird's eye perspective, the funding news at a glance. If you want a more in-depth look, then make sure to subscribe to our newsletter that we send out every single week. You can find the link to that in the pinned comment or in the description down below. Your choice, just hit that link and you'll be able to sign up for our newsletter. And that is all the startup news that I have for you guys this week. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Big thanks now to all of our Backstage with Millionaire members, our unicorns, our decacorns, and our hectacorns. And big thanks to you for watching this video through to the end. All right, I will see you in the next one.